We might have already lived through the craziest winter of our lifetime, and most people don't even realize it. It started before Thanksgiving in 2022. Western New York was swallowed by one of the most intense lake effect snowstorms ever recorded. Got about two, three feet of snow. My car got sucked just trying to turn down my road. Orchard Park, 66 inches in a single day. Entire neighborhoods were entombed, and that wasn't even the worst. Just weeks later, Buffalo was hit again, this time by a once in a generation blizzard. Zero visibility, 37 and a half hours of whiteout conditions. More than 40 people lost their lives. Oh, I got you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, across the country, California was drowning in snow. A conveyor belt of Pineapple Express storms doubled the Sierra snowpack, ending a 20 year mega drought in a single season. So that ski patroller is, is touching the shivs on that tower right there. So if a winter like that can rewrite the record books, what about this winter? A couple of years later, are we staring down another legend or something very different? Maybe no city embraces snow and football like Buffalo. And on November 16th, 2022, fans in Orchard Park were doing what they always do, gearing up for a tailgate and a game. Are you guys going to let this six feet of snow stop you? Come on, man. We're from Buffalo, brother. <laughs> this temperature has dropped about 25 degrees in the last hour. So how do you how do you prepare for this? Like, what do you guys do to be able to tough this out? I mean, Just dress warm, out. man. That's it. That's all you can do. Layer dress up, warm. Layer up, layer up, stand in front of the fire pit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of fire pits here. They'll be they'll be going for sure. Do you expect it still to be full this week? Are people going? Are you people going to stay home? Well, it's Bill's Mafia. It's going to be loaded in here. Yeah, Bill's Mafia, man. We don't stay home. As you can see from the the flags, there's a change in the air. A historic snowfall event is on the way for right here in Buffalo, New York, and Western New York. A fire hose of moisture coming in off of Lake Erie. Forecasters saw it coming. Days before the first flakes, the National Weather Service warned of four to six feet of snow near zero visibility, impossible travel. The governor declared a state of emergency before the storm even began. But still, no one pictured what was about to hit. As promised, the lake effect snow is here in Buffalo, New York. It started around seven o'clock this evening and we already have a couple of inches here on the ground. You can see this car that's been parked. How much snow comes off. I don't know if you're able to hear that. That is thunder snow. Lake Erie was unusually warm, 52 degrees. Cold Arctic air poured in over the lake and the clash created a snow machine that just wouldn't turn off. all around all these roads aren't even plowed it's off this is lake effect snow chaos you have cars just stuck all over the place and what is happening people trying to get into hamburg there's no possible way because there's cars that can't get up the incline and then there's other cars that can't get down the incline because they're blocked by these cars people are doing their best they're all getting together grabbing a shovel putting their backs into it trying to push cars out of the way but there's just so much snow it's virtually impossible if you don't have the right kind of tires if you have the right kind of car with the right four-wheel drive you just can't get up even basic inclines like this overpass and everybody's stuck on both sides so we don't know which way to go <laughs> and we come in to buy us a snow plow <laughs> So we are stuck here. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. <laughs> By Friday, the forecasts look timid. A single snow band locked over Orchard Park. Already over 47 inches of snow. It's been less than 24 hours since the flakes began to fly. It's a maze of cars that are stuck, semis stranded. People wondering, is there a way to get around? Is there a way to get home? There really isn't. Orchard Park, New York, where the Bills were supposed to play on Sunday, but then the NFL moved the game to Detroit. 
Uh, looking around is a good idea. The snow buried Highmark Stadium so deep, the NFL moved the Bills game 250 miles away to Detroit. In Buffalo, football usually beats winter, but not this time. For three straight days, western New York disappeared under the weight of snow. Cars vanished. Highways were shut down. Semi-trucks, they came off the interstate because I-90 was shut down. So this is Highway 62. It goes north and south from Buffalo. And the semis, well, they get stuck. They lose momentum. They got stuck in all the snow. There's hills coming in of overpasses and any sort of incline elevation if you don't have proper chains or the right kind of vehicle, well, you get stranded. And there is just a line of semis and cars blocking this, stretching for miles in either direction. Some of these drivers having to stay for hours overnight, even in their trucks. Orchard Park ended with more than 80 inches. Hamburg had 81. Forecasts called it historic. Living through it <laughs> proved them right. Did you ever think you'd be sliding in your front yard? Uh. And Buffalo barely had time to dig out. Just weeks later, before winter had even officially started, the city was about to be buried again. This time, not a simple snow band, not just lake effect. This was a full scale blizzard with hurricane force winds and it would prove even deadly. Hurricane season is just getting busy and there's no better time to talk about the simplest, most powerful way to back up the essentials in your home. Meet the brand new Home Power 3600 Plus from Jackery. Out of the box, it gives you a massive 3,584 watt hours of power. But here's the kicker, it's expandable. You can add up to five extra battery packs to get a staggering 21,000 watt hours of backup. That's enough power to keep your family's fridge running for up to two weeks. Even with the quiet storm season so far, my neighborhood grid has already gone down three times this year. With the Home Power 3600 Plus, I didn't just keep the fridge on, I brewed coffee, used the air fryer, and kept our phones charged. A big difference maker is how this battery backup will save your more sensitive devices like computers. If power flickers, it switches over in less than 10 milliseconds. I really love how plug and play it is. It uses Jackery's zero drain technology, so it loses less than 5% of its charge each year. So you can set it up, forget about it, and count on it when the power goes out. And it's impressively portable. It's the world's lightest and smallest 3.6 kilowatt hour power station in its class with a built-in handle and wheels. My back definitely appreciates just how easy this is to roll whenever I need it. I've been through enough power outages, I know what's necessary, and with this setup, I can run all of my essentials quietly with no gas, no fumes, and no carbon monoxide. Follow the link in the description to get your own peace of mind and save up to $2,300 on a Jackery Home Power 3600 Plus bundle before September 21st. Just days before Christmas, an Arctic bomb cyclone exploded. For Buffalo, it wasn't just another snowstorm. This was a blizzard in the truest sense of the war. Thirty-seven and a half hours of whiteout conditions, longer than any blizzard in the city's history. You couldn't see, you couldn't move. Emergency crews abandoned vehicles mid-rescue, buried where they stopped. This wasn't a snow day, it was survival. Buffalo knows snow, but this was different. Gusts topping 79 miles per hour at the Buffalo airport. Hurricane force winds. Temperatures plunged to negative four degrees with wind chills down to negative 30 degrees. Rescue operations froze in place. More than 100 people had to be pulled from stranded cars in just the first night. Some never made it out. Climb on up. Oh, I got you. Okay. Okay, honey, bro. Need help? Okay. I got you. I got you. Oh, I got you. Got, you. got it. I no, got no, no, you. No, no. You okay? No, no. Great job, Riri. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. All right. It is absolutely brutal out there. I had a couple of uh, good Samaritans that came 
to help me out. I was stranded on William and Ogden and my car got stuck. There is no place for you to be. It's very dangerous out here and you don't want to get caught in this weather. In the end, over 40 lives were lost in Erie County alone. The deadliest storm in Buffalo in nearly 50 years. But remember that 66 inches in Buffalo? California was about to make that look small. While Buffalo was digging out from its deadliest blizzard in half a century, on the other side of the country, California was just getting started. This is why they shut down Interstate 80 over Donner Pass, white out. It wasn't just one storm, it was a barrage. Back to back atmospheric rivers pounded the state in the first weeks of January. Rivers overflowing, levees breaking, mudslides tearing through hillside neighborhoods. By the end of January, the Sierra snowpack wasn't just deep. It was 200% of average. Don't let the name atmospheric river fool you. It's not just about the coastal flooding here in California. In the Sierra, we're getting slammed with snow. The only way I can describe the sensation of trying to get around here in Soda Springs near Donner Pass is kind of like being a rat in a maze. You're just locked in on all sides by a wall of snow. No matter which road you turn down, there's just large cuts. This is actually a great sign because this, all this white stuff is as good as gold for the Golden State in California. This is the water storage for California. For two decades, California lived under the shadow of drought. Reservoirs dropping to record low levels, farmers leaving fields unplanted, towns trucking in bottled water. But in the winter of 2023, you could watch that crisis vanish almost overnight. Every new storm meant more water locked into the mountains. The last few years, this no fishing, no swimming sign really hasn't made much sense here at the end of this boat ramp in Lake Orville because, well, the lake wasn't even close to the end of this boat ramp. It's tremendous to see the difference. It dropped so low they had to shut off the electric generating turbines because there just wasn't enough water. But it seems with this tremendous atmospheric river California has had, since the beginning of 2023. The water situation in California is improving dramatically. For the first time in years, state officials declared that California's drought emergency was effectively over. It was like watching the state's biggest problem get buried under snow. January set the tone, February proved it wasn't stopping. But March, March made history. So... This is the second story. This is second story. <laughs> and it's level with the railing, pretty much. This pipe on that tree, that's our uh, fuel tanks under there. You feel like an Eskimo ever? Oh yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this there's a door right below you there, the first one, that's our normal way of getting in. We can't, it's gonna have a flat roofed uh, ski storage room added on, but uh, that's not gonna be accessible for a while. In just four days, parts of the Sierra picked up 100 inches of snow. Roads vanished. Even the roofs built for snow began to collapse under the weight. <laughs> wow. Like, I'm, obviously, I don't know how long it's been since this house has been shoveled out or cleared, but it'd be virtually impossible to get inside. This pile right here, it's probably over 20 feet of snow. Just started reaching my window, just like that big snowstorm the other week. And yeah, that's when it started covering up my window. And I love big winters. It's my favorite thing. Skiing, playing in the snow, it's the best. You don't feel like a little bit of claustrophobia or anything? No. <laughs> It takes a lot to stop a freight train, but in 2023, 
Union Pacific had to bring out its rotary snowplow, a machine so massive it can carve mountains of snow off the tracks. It was the first time in years that they needed it. What a machine. <laughs> Unbelievable. By the end of March, the numbers were historic. The Northern Sierra had its second deepest snowpack on record. Ski resorts had lifts that were buried. I mean, usually we're trying to keep that snow down so we can continue to operate the chair, but yeah, I, I've never seen anything like that. I don't think anyone else has ever seen anything like that in their time here. California's entire water system depends on slow snow melt. In 2023, the mountains held more water than at almost any other time in history. But the story wasn't all relief. That same snow that saved California's reservoirs also triggered record flooding when it began to melt. In the Central Valley, farmland turned into lakes. The Tulare Basin, dry for decades, refilled, swallowing homes and highways. Buffalo had been buried, California drowning in snow. But that chaos wasn't random. It was driven by a rare triple dip La Nina. And here's the thing, the pattern that drove that chaos is showing signs of returning. No one's calling for another once in a lifetime winter, but no one called 2023 either. Forecasters see a weak La Nina forming. So what does that actually mean? It all starts in the Pacific Ocean. When this ribbon of ocean water cools down, it changes the air pressure above it and it bends the jet stream into a more volatile path. A La Nina winter isn't a guarantee of anything. It's a pattern of probability. It creates the potential for record-breaking lake effect, for Arctic outbreaks, and even for atmospheric rivers where you least expect them. It sets the stage for a season of extremes, just like the one we'll never forget, the winter of 2022 to 23. It was brutal and it was beautiful. And now here we are again, another winter on the horizon, so don't ask me if we'll see another once-in-a-lifetime winner. Just ask yourself if you're ready when it shows up.